Business editor Richard Southern is here. And Richard, as the real estate market slows, the prices of renting a home in Toronto continue to soar. Sure do, Erica. We got the December numbers in and my goodness, it is mighty expensive to rent an apartment here in the big smoke. The average cost to rent has gone up 23% year on year uh, in the month of December. Uh, for the average one bedroom apartment, you're gonna pay just over $2,400 a month. The average two bedroom in Toronto, just over $3,200. For the one bedroom, it's a 21.3% increase. The two bedroom up 18%. That's the year on year. There is some reason to hope when you look at the month over month numbers, the average cost to rent down between three and 4% month over month from November to December. But of course, we've really seen rental prices accelerate. Uh, what with the housing market having cooled off because of the higher interest rates and mortgage rates, it's prompted many potential home buyers, Erica, to sit on the, the sidelines and to rent Instead, uh, Erica, there is some reason to hope uh, some of the uh, experts in this field, uh, they foresee some uh, slightly cheaper rental prices as we progress through 2023. But right now, it's mighty expensive here in Toronto. It certainly is. Okay, breaking up uh, with someone over email is never a great idea. It's a terrible idea, actually. And the same could probably be said for laying off an employee. Yeah, this is not great, especially when you're talking about one of the biggest e-commerce companies out there. Erica, thousands of Amazon employees woke up to an email in their inbox this morning. The subject line, quote, important information about your role. It was an email telling them they'd been laid off. It was from an executive at Amazon who said that uh, the past year had, quote, brought ex significant challenges due to slowing demand, supply chain constraints, and labor shortages. All contributing, he said, to the company's increased cost to serve. It was how he justified the layoff notice. 18,000 Amazon workers losing their job across Canada and the United States. And Erica, Amazon, just the latest tech company to do this. Many are slashing some of the staff that they bulked up on during the uh, pandemic. And uh, they're as well expecting some uh, slower economic times ahead. And that's why the pink slips were flying, but not good to get that via email, that's no. for sure. goodness. Okay, finally, uh, global demand for oil is on the rise and it's happening at a very inopportune time. Yeah, I mean, everything's costing more. And now here's a big forecast out today for oil demand to hit a record high. The International Energy Agency is anticipating daily oil consumption to top 101 million barrels per day. That would be a record high. One of the big reasons for this is expected to be China, which, as we know, has eased its zero COVID policy. It's opening up its economy. It's the world's biggest importer of oil. As well, G7 nations has, have put a cap on Russian oil, and that's uh, creating demand elsewhere. Uh, the forecast for more fossil fuel consumption does come amid growing alarm over climate change and severe weather. I mean, Erica, you've seen the storms uh, out in California that are becoming more and more frequent. Still, even with the call for higher oil demand, the IEA is predicting unprecedented investments in renewable energy. Price for oil above 80 bucks today. And of course, we're looking at always what this means for gas prices in the GTA. Price of gas not expected to change tonight. It's around a uh, buck 50 a liter, but that could be going up with oil later this year, Erica.